If you think back to even just a few years ago, web browsers were all pretty simple and didn't offer much customization or utilities besides surfing the web. And then Google Chrome came along, which is by far the best client for browsing the web on the market right now. It allows you to do so much in one single application that it's honestly baffling though. And with that in mind, there are tons of hidden features you probably didn't even know about. Before we get into those features though, if we could please hit 2000 likes, that would be amazing. Make sure you guys hit that like button or else your showers that you take this week will either be way too hot or way too cold whenever you use them. Chrome has so many features that it's really hard to keep track of it all. Google as a company has always been innovative and it seems they're always adding new functionalities to their browser every single day. We figured we would compile a list for you guys so that you could enjoy some of these rather hidden features in case you didn't know about them. Without further ado, let's get into 10 hidden Google Chrome features. Up first we have gaming search optimization. And this isn't something that you need to turn on or anything, it's built right into Chrome. If you search play and then the game title, Google optimizes the search to have the first results be websites where you can play the online flash versions of your favorite games. Keep in mind though, that these aren't the exact games because that would be rather impossible to do on a web browser, but instead they're as close as you can possibly get for a web game. With that being said, some perform better than others and honestly you'll always be better off playing games through Steam if you have it, but hey, at least it exists, right? And if you guys need to get a gaming fix in, you know, while you're on break at school or something like that, this is an easy way to do it. Second up today, we have the ability to open up your accidentally closed tabs. Have you ever accidentally X'd out of one that is really important? That's okay, it happens to everyone and luckily Google has your back. And by hitting Control Shift T or Command Shift T on Mac, you can reopen any closed tabs that you have closed out of in your current browsing session. These do go via chronological order, so make sure you're aware of that. Whereas if you're trying to open something that was five pages back, you'll have to hit it five separate times. And if you don't want to remember that shortcut that we mentioned earlier, you can just right click at the top of the browser at any tab and voila, you just click the option labeled reopen close tab at the bottom. Never again should you worry about losing your precious tabs. Up next, we have word searches made quick and easy. Have you ever been reading a Wikipedia article or something else for research or just in general browsing the web and stumbled across a word that you have no idea what the actual meaning is? That's okay, there's like a million words and we don't expect you to know all of them, and apparently neither does Google. Luckily, with a simple highlight of the word and right click on it, you can search for the meaning of that word. Click the option to search Google for blank, blank meaning whatever word you have highlighted, and the definition will come up in a new tab where you have searched for the word. That's some definitions made quick for you guys, and this tool should help you out when studying immensely. The really nice thing about this as well is it doesn't quite distract you from your studying workflow as you don't have to actually leave the page. Instead, it just opens up a new tab where you not only get the definition and usage laid out right in front of you for that word, but you also have access to dictionary and thesaurus websites at your disposal if you need to find similar words or how it is used in a sentence. All around, a very great tool that I am super glad Google decided to add to their web browser. For another feature today, we have what I think is the only built-in browser game that actually is challenging and worth playing. There might be others out there, but this is the only one I can think of that I've personally wasted some time on. Have you ever had internet issues and gotten that Chrome is offline error page when you try to launch a website? Well, in the future, just press the spacebar and you will be launched into a browser game implemented by Google themselves, where you are a T-Rex and you have to jump over obstacles on the ground. It's quite ridiculous, I know, but it is actually pretty challenging once you get pretty far along. And it's fun if you don't have internet and really have nothing else to do. I've been at that level of boredom before where I've played it quite a few times back to back, trying to get a higher and higher score. If you guys have personally played this before, let us know what your high score is, and we would love to hear if any of you are insanely good at this really silly game. Surprisingly, while recording this video, I actually got farther along than I think I've ever gotten, as I'm usually pretty trash at games like this, but I'm sure it wouldn't be very hard to beat, so make sure you guys let me know how easy it was for you to beat this score in the comments down below. As you can see, I got like 500 points or something like that. Speaking of games, it's clear Google has hired some real video game nerds who are in on all the funny video game memes that exist today, and there are quite a few easter egg searches that you can do for Google Chrome, but one of the best in my opinion is a search of do a barrel roll. Now this is an inside joke from the old Star Fox 64 game in which it is said countless times during a tutorial by a certain character in that game. When you type this into the search bar, the browser actually does a full on 360 degree spin right in front of your eyes. And even just little stuff like this is in my opinion what makes Chrome so fun and different from all the other search engines and browsers out there. Do you guys have tabs that you constantly have open or important things that you don't want to accidentally click off of? Such as pages that have information typed onto them that you really don't want to lose out on. Well, Chrome actually offers an option to pin your tabs, and to do this, all you have to do is right click the tab that you want to pin and click 
pin tab in the pull down menu. This makes the icon tiny and doesn't include an option to click to close out on it and it also slams it to the far left of the browser so that you always have it available when you need it. And once it's done, don't worry, you can always follow the same right click process to unpin it once that's all over with. It is a very handy tool to know though. Our next two features are super helpful for different reasons. Up first is the built in calculator function and remember when your math teacher said you better learn this quick math in your head because you'll never have a calculator with you at all times. Oh, how wrong they were. If you don't have your phone handy or are lazy like me and just want to calculate on whatever you're currently using, you can actually type into equations into the search bar in Google Chrome and it will answer them for you without even needing to hit enter. If you do hit enter though, the first result will be a built-in calculator widget that Google has included for all your computing needs and it's very standard calculator, you know, it won't be doing any graphing stuff, but it'll definitely help you out with simple stuff you don't want to have to do in your head. This is very helpful during homework once again. The next feature is another search implementation that Google has added that is super nice if you have relatives or friends in another country or are just curious about the different places throughout the world. You can search what time is it in blank, blank again being whatever country you're curious of, and Google will display a global clock showing what time it is in that specific area of the world at that exact time. You can also do the same thing with weather by saying how hot is it in blank or something along those lines and you will get a total breakdown of how that area's current weather is along with future weather projections. Just like any other clock or weather app, it's gonna show you a very detailed breakdown for both of these options. This is very interesting and once again, super helpful if you have friends or family in other areas and aren't sure when you can talk to them or what their life is like with the temperature and everything like that. For our ninth feature, we have the ability to cast your TV. Have you ever wanted to browse the web on your huge flat screen TV in your living room instead of your computer screen? Well, as long as you have the Google Chromecast device plugged into the TV on the same network, just click the hamburger menu in the top right of Chrome and click cast. Now, if you're trying this out and you don't see that option for some reason, that just means you need to update your Chrome browser and then it should be there. If you have the Chromecast, this can be super nice. And if you don't, you can purchase it from, you know, any retailer out there. I think it's like $30 or something. And it is something that you can use your phone with to cast your screen on your TV. And it's just an overall really helpful tool. I personally have a couple in my house right now as we speak. And this is a very good way to see things more clearly or if you're in a group setting and need to go over something on your TV, you know, like a presentation or something like that. The very last feature that we wanted to go over today is the process of saving your passwords. And have you ever been forgetful of a password or just relied on Chrome's memory of the password to log you in? You know where you're like, oh, I literally don't know what this password is, but hey, it's saved for me. So I'm just going to hit enter every single time I log in and hope that it never forgets. Well, in case you do ever forget your passwords, you can actually view them in their entirety by typing in this path on your search bar. We're going to show it right now and then click enter. This will take you to a menu with a breakdown of each saved password you have on this account. And it can be super nifty for those of you that are forgetful and can't remember some of your passwords. This can, however, be harmful though, because anyone with access to your computer or your Chrome account can do the same thing. So make sure whoever you're giving access to on your computer is trustworthy and someone that you don't have to worry about them trying to steal your passwords, because that does have some very secure information, obviously, and you don't want that in the wrong hands. So as always, make sure you're careful and trusting of anyone you loan your computer to for use, even if it's just for a short time, as this can take very little time. So guys, that about wraps it up for 10 hidden Google Chrome features. I admit some were very silly and goofy, but some actually proved to be very useful in our day-to-day -day use. And it's things that I learned about that have helped save me quite a few times. You've got to admit, with a lot of these, there simply aren't companies like Google that would be playful and useful like this and have such a focus on always adding new content to their browsers. I know when I used to use other browsers, it felt way too straightforward and that wouldn't seem like a bad thing, but I was just always saying to myself, man, I wish I could do this or I wish I could do that on so many different things. So without a doubt, we have to give it up for Google. They have really been killing it in the past few years with Chrome and there seems to be no stopping for them. It is now the only browser that I actually enjoy using on a day to day basis and it's an absolute pain if I'm using a computer and forced to use something else like Edge or Safari if I'm on a Mac. They just don't compare. If you guys learned anything new today, make sure to hit the like button and tell us down in the comments below what feature is your favorite that you heard about today or other ones that we might have missed as we only went over 10 here. But like I said before, Google is constantly adding new things and there are probably about a thousand different things that you can do in Chrome that many people and the average users might not know about. Thanks so much for watching till the very end of the video and we will see you guys in the next one.